Hello everyone. Not all proximal humerus fractures require surgery in all cases. Like we have a case today of a proximal humerus minimally displaced surgical neck fracture, which we are going to treat conservatively with humerus cast. After having explained pros and cons of operative as well as non-operative treatment option for such fracture, patient has made informed decision of going ahead with plaster application. So as you can see, we have first applied a stockinette over the shoulder and arm and we have tied both ends of the stockinette around the neck so that the plaster does not slip downwards. After that, we have applied a cotton soft roll for padding and then we are going to apply fiberglass 4 inch plaster over the right arm. So as you can see that it's very important to keep our superior end of the plaster at the level of acromioclavicular joint at least for the plaster to be effective. These are the images of the plaster from the front, from the side and from the back. These are the post plaster application AP and lateral views. You can clearly see that the reduction is quite acceptable and if the fracture stays like this, it's going to heal nicely without much problem. As you have seen, we have kept elbow out of the plaster, so elbow movement can be started straight away. We are also going to allow forward flexion, extension as well as abduction of the shoulder right away after stabilizing the scapula and we are going to gradually increase this range of motion over period of time. We keep this plaster for duration of 6 weeks after which we are going to apply functional humerus brace and increase active assisted range of motion exercises. Thanks for watching this video. Do like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any queries you can ask in the comment section. Thank you.